Hi, thank you so much for joining me for this segment. In this portion, we're going to talk about reaction stoichiometry and apply the density of a liquid to this. Um, so if you see volume and it's not a gas, you're likely going to have to use density. So let's take a look at how this would play out. So I've got liquid bromine reacting with calcium iodide and this is a single replacement since bromine's above iodine it's more active so I'm going to end up with calcium bromide plus iodine okay, for our uh, balanced equation so I have 400 grams of calcium iodide and it asks me question mark liters this is where some students would be temp tempted to use the molar volume, but molar volume is for gas and this is a liquid. Okay, What you might want to do under here is I like to write my density as an equality right in the kind of my map. So that might be my clue. That's information about bromine that might help me avoid using that molar volume. So I need to go mass to moles, then moles to moles, and now it's going to take a few steps. We don't have a conversion factor that gets us directly to volume. So we first have to go to grams, and then we're going to go to milliliters, and then from milliliters we'll go to liters. So let's take the, make a grid one, two, three, four, five steps especially when it's a long problem. I like to use the grid instead of the parentheses method, but I'm personally not picky. One, two, three, four, five. Some teachers would be. I'm, I'm not that picky about that. Okay, so I have 400 grams of, and you'll probably want to label this, calcium iodide. Whenever you're going from one substance to another substance, you'll get lost. It's like driving through a neighborhood with no street signs or anything, um, you're, you're more likely to get lost. So I'm going to moles of calcium iodide. The molar mass of calcium iodide is 293.89. And then I want to eliminate moles of calcium iodide. And I want to go to moles of bromine and it happens to be a one-to-one -one mole ratio. I do require my students to show one-to-one -one mole ratios, so you'll need to check with your teacher. Now, I'm at moles. I can't get to volume, but I can get to grams, so I want to eliminate moles of bromine, and I want to go to grams of bromine, and be, don't forget it's diatomic, so you'll need to multiply that um, atomic mass by 2 to get 159.81 grams of bromine. I'm at grams. Now I can go to liters. I want to get rid of grams of bromine and I want to go to milliliters of bromine and my density tells me for every one milliliter my sample would weigh 3.12 grams. Okay, So that's the key step there milliliters to liters. I would hope you would know how to do by now. And you want to always double check that your units cancel so you know you didn't make a mistake. Moles of calcium iodide, moles of bromine cancel. That should be a one there. Grams of bromine cancel. Milliliters cancel. You are left with liters. And I got 6.97 times 10 to the minus 2 liters. Be really careful that you put units and the name of your substance. Um, so you don't, you don't want to lose points over pettiness. You just were being careless. All right, so now let's try one more example just to firm this up. I'm going to do this one a little more quickly because hopefully you, you're getting the idea. This time I've got um, two mercuries. This is another single replacement. And 
it's going to react with excess. I love that word. That means we don't have a limiting reactant problem. Makes a weird ion. Mercury 1 is always found in pairs. So this is unusual that we would not reduce that ratio, that 2 to 2 to a 1 to 1 ratio, because Mercury 1 is HG2, 2 plus. They always come in pairs. And that would leave me with silver. And I need a 2 here and a 2 there. OK? This time I'm given 46.7 milliliters. I'm told that my density is 13.6 grams for every one milliliter. Again, I like to put a slashed unit as an equality. It helps me get direction. That's an excess. And then it asked me how many grams of this I could make. So I don't know volume to moles. So before I get to the mole road, I have to go milliliters to grams, then grams to moles. And then we're going to go moles to moles, and then moles to mass using molar mass. And let's get our grid. I'm counting four steps. So one, two, three, four, and 46.7 milliliters of mercury. Some students like to cross off the bottom like that just so they know no number belongs there. That's fine. Um, I want to get rid of milliliters and go to grams. My density tells me that if I measured out one milliliter, it would weigh 13.6 grams. So now I am here on my journey. Now I can go mass to moles. Mass to moles, use molar mass. And mercury's molar mass is 200.59 grams. Again, label. Now I'm here on my map. So I want to eliminate moles of mercury and get to moles of that mercury to nitrate. And there's a 1 in front of the mercury to nitrate. There's a 2 in front of the mercury. And now moles to mass, you should be able to do mass to moles. Use molar mass, 525.19 grams. Always, always, always double check that your units cancel. Grams with grams, moles of mercury, only cancels moles of mercury. Moles of mercury nitrate only cancels moles of mercury nitrate. And I get 8.31 times 10 to the second grams of my mercury 1 nitrate. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. And good luck on your journey in chemistry.